Okay, let's have a look at Euclidean rhythm. Now here's the rhythm we started off with. And we're playing this on the Egypt rhythm rack. Oscillator volume is a nice parameter to play with. Thicken of electronic edge to the sound, we'll leave that for the moment. Okay, the arc mode here. Length set to 16, so that's one bar. And fill is 16, so that means that every note will be filled. So if I just press four notes, you can hear a regular rhythm. Now what happens if I turn that down to say 13? And hit the same notes. It's done a rather odd rhythm. Let's try it on 14. like 11, 13. Pretty consistently entertaining. Let's try 10 quickly. Oh yeah, nice. If I take it down to eight. Now, only half the notes are filled because eight's half of 16. I can keep taking it right down. Six. Research has shown that a lot of world rhythms are derived using the Euclidean fill principle. I read a wicked article about that which I'll post up somewhere. And here it is for you in Medivolve for you to funk around with. Let's have something a bit more random again. A couple of quick evolves to change things. A bit of oscillator. Chain reverb. Corpus is another effect, adds more body to the sound. I credit Flying Lotus with freeing up my notions of what a rhythm has to be. These investigations into alternate answers to what is a rhythm and how far can one take a rhythm and abstract it out until it just becomes randomness, chaos, noise, nonsense. Euclidean rhythm in Medivolve. Thanks for watching.